So today I'm going to be showing the combination between both Leader Class Optimus and Jetfire. I'm going to start with prepping Jetfire going from robot mode. Detach his cane. And his gun here. And go to the back panels here and separate this. And set all three of those to the side for now. Basically, you want to start transforming uh, it halfway to jet mode. Folding these panels down to form the top part of the jet. And fold that up. Take uh, these pieces here and fold them down to start to form the nose cone. Uh, and then detach everything here. Separate the halves here. Just leave them be for a while. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to show all this. Pull these to the side so they extend fully. Okay, and then so you get something like that almost. Then, then fold the top parts of the arms up like so, and then uh, basically just fold these down till you see the top part of the nose cone facing towards you like that. Okay. Then take the feet, rotate them around, fold those pieces forward, and uh, this little section pulls forward to reveal a couple tabs for uh, Prime's feet and you're basically done with this part so I'm just going to set them set them to the side and now to uh, prepare Optimus here I'm going to go to the back detach these uh, back panels kind of have them go to the side And I'll start folding the back out like this, as if you're getting ready to convert him to truck mode. So he has these kind of wing sections like that. Go down to the feet and detach it like that. Okay, and then you're ready. And this is probably the trickiest part. Well, actually, before you do that, I want to take these pieces here and fold them forward. This is the probably the hardest part, in my opinion. It definitely took the longest for me to figure it out. But what you need... Okay. Basically, what you're going to need to do is uh, straddle these two pieces over Prime's back. Like... Like uh, this, go it at an angle, and once you get it like that, just need to kind of force everything in place. There we go. Oh, almost. There we go. Heard that very loud snap. Hopefully, nothing broke off, but once you get it right, you'll know because it's not loose at all. And then, oh, I actually forgot one little piece here. There's this uh, piece in the middle of this lower section here that will fold up. 
kind of need to spread his legs apart to uh, get it to reach. Okay, and it just snaps in place like that. Then go to the feet here. Actually, before, yeah, let's go here and snap the tabs there. And then one more right there. Repeat it for the other side. Okay. Make sure the feet are aligned like this so he stands upright, not at an angle like I've done several times. Then take these uh, pieces that are on this uh, rubber string almost, fold them or bring them around. Snap them together. I am Optimus Prime. Okay. So now you have something like this. To finish it up, take his uh, cannon here and it'll snap in place on his little bar on his forearm. And then take this section here and his cane. Fold the cane like that, and then take this piece here, fold it out, and then this will fold down, and then tab the cane in place on either side, fold it so you have something like this, and then slide this into his hand. Oh. And there you have it. Power up Optimus Prime with Jetfire. Oh, these are a little crooked. And he is massive. And absolutely heavy, too. Um, because of his uh, combination with uh, Jetfire, his uh, articulation really sank a lot. Most nosily in the legs. I mean, you can't really do anything with him now. He had, he's still... Uh, retains most of his articulation in his arms. In fact, on one of his swords, while this cannon's uh, attached, he can still... Oh, I said... Okay, once I say it will work, it won't. There you go. can still uh, deploy one of his swords. Okay. So, uh, the... It is actually surprisingly accurate. You can deploy these, uh... Jets as high as you want, so you get the, they're more no, more noticeable. Um, not as much bulk to the figure as I liked. Uh, not you don't see as much uh, jet fire parts on the legs or just on the overall body as you do see on his in the in the movie. But it is still real nice. You can see. All the little pieces uh, attached to him now. And okay, let's uh, take a look at him from the back. See, so he has a real huge feet now, but uh, even though it really kills his articulation, it actually, I mean, it, it he won't fall. He just will not fall over for anything. And, um, Let's uh, get his uh, nemesis here, Megatron, and you can see just how much, I mean I thought he was big before, but my god, you can still he's, see he's a lot taller than him now, mainly because of what he had to do with the feet, but yeah, he's uh, Megatron's definitely no match for him now. And like I said before, he is very, very heavy. But uh, how heavy is he exactly? Let's um, let's find out. What the? F so in short, yes, I do think uh, Jetfire is worth it, especially for this uh, 
combined mode. It is a little tricky to get a hold of, but I definitely like it a lot better in person than uh, than pictures I saw from. Pictures weren't too impressive, but once you really get get it combined in person and really get a good look at it, you'll be uh, really impressed with it. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching.